uh, I know no nobody want to say it. So let me be the one to say it. Be careful what you ask for. You just might get it. Man, check this out. Penny is a good coach. He's a good young coach. And he knows how to recruit players. It was evident uh, when he was at East High School, you know, winning championships. But it seemed like uh, the alumni at Memphis, they wanted Penny to come to Memphis and, and you know, that's where he played and, and, and they wanted to ride with Penny and, and they wanted Penny Man to turn Memphis around into a winner when they already had a winner. A winning coach, a proven coach, a coach who won an NCAA championship reign in Tubby Smith. I hate to say this, but I know he probably somewhere laughing out loud right now, you know. He's saying to himself probably, you, you know, he, he probably would never admit it in public, but he probably saying to himself, You want a penny, you got him. Prior to Memphis getting penny, uh Tim Smith man had the Tigers with a with a winning record. Uh they were they were playing uh in a tournament. You know, I think his, his record was twenty one Maybe 21 and 10. He might not have had that many losses, but I know he had 20 something wins, you know, just about every year that he was at Memphis. You know, I don't know a penny of nothing. Got a 20 win season. Well, he might have got one last year when they won the NIT, you know, but, you know, the alumni got fooled by the championship reigns that Penn won at East, and they overlooked Tubby and what he did with man. Tubby really didn't have the best players, but the players that he had, he had them winning, and that's how Tubby has been everywhere he has played. I mean, everywhere he has coached, even when he was at. Kentucky. Uh, now, I will, I will take into consideration that he did uh, receive Rick Pitino's Kentucky team. Some of those players uh, were, were Rick Pitino's players, but he still won a championship on his merit with those players. Texas Tech, prior to him leaving Texas Tech, coming to Memphis, Texas Tech was in a re was in a rebuilding. Uh, they were in a rebuilding mode. Tubby Smith took their program and 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 turned their program around. Had their program winning. The evidence being that. Those same players that played for Tubby end up playing for the championship a year after he left. Maybe two years. It wasn't it wasn't more than two years after he left. And they played for a championship. Now they didn't win it, but didn't nobody even expect them to, to get that far. But th those were Tubby's playoffs. So, I mean, I like Penny, and I hope, man, that he's able to turn it around. You know, yeah, he, he's had some issues and, you know, injuries and COVID and different things. But, you know, 
Some of it got to do with culture. You know, I, I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at uh, certain players that's that's been there for four years and should have been starting all four years. I'm talking about that guard that, that comes off the bench sometimes and almost wins games for them. Instead of him starting, you know, all the time, you know, I've seen him come off the bench. You know, there's no way that man should have been coming off the bench, man. That man should have been starting his entire duration at the University of Memphis. But that's another story. Just be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. Penn is a good high school coach. And it's going to take him some time to become a, a great college coach. But he's not going to find it in Memphis. The pressure is too great for him to, to win at Memphis. It ain't going to work here. Until next time.